Hello YouTube, or YouTubers I should say. Another video, another content, even through the winter. Today, I'm going to do something a little bit different, a little bit different than opening the box. I'm going to do a review on this. Now I've had this a couple of years, to be honest. I've had this a couple of years. Um, it's called the, the Works Hydra Shot. And what it is, it's a, it's a, um, a cordless jet wash. Some of you might be interested. The great deal, the great thing about this is that if you haven't got water or you haven't got electric you can go anywhere and still wash your car so i i use it all the time it's really um it's really useful so um i've got all my safety stuff on i've got my camera on so without further ado let's start to have a look at the works what's it called the works hydro shot and you'll see that actually um, and you know, and you know me, I'm all about the health and safety. Um, you'll see that it's really, really a good piece of kit. So let's have a look at it. Okay, so in regards to the kit um, that you get, I got the, I got sort of the basic one. Um, I think it was 120 quid. Like I said, it's about, it's about 12, 18 months old. Um, I use it all the time, to be honest with you. It, the, the basic kit comes with everything that you need to go including the battery and the little charger as well um, and then you get your obviously your hose pipe the only thing that i have found like i said it's a it's a it's a review is this and oh i must say as well this isn't about how you wash your car not at all um, we all have our different ways of doing it what i have found though um, over the last 12 months is that the the hose that clips into this plastic bit here it has um, sort of started to crack so I've just put some um, some tape around it just to hold it in place but it's certainly not affected um, sort of how you use it so what I've done is um, just to kick off with I'll put some pre-wash on as well because I just want to show you um, I want to show you really how sort of powerful it is and you know sort of how useful it is you get this this ball thing and then obviously you've got to uh, the idea is that that sits in there and you've got, you've got to make sure that you filter um, is obviously you know dipped into the water right so let's switch it on take a minute or two just to come through the pipes um, so first of all I've just done a bit of a, um, a pre-wash with this um, stuff that I use again just to show you that you can uh, oh it's come out um, just to show you that um, you can use this um, you know use this anywhere literally you can even go to a car show I suppose and do it um, give it a second to, to feed through don't worry it, the spray gets a bit better than that um, just looking at that thing I think it keeps, keeps coming out right okay so it might not look very powerful um, you know sort of on the through the through the video but you know what I really like about this it's absolutely ideal it's got about the, just about the right power for um for jet washing your car but without damaging the paint so if i just show you down here a bit of debris and again you can see that it has got the power to actually flick it off as well you can go really close and get off any any stuff that you need to so uh so yeah just about the enough uh, enough power um you know it's obviously because it's um because it's on a battery it's not k archer standard um, do you know what I mean? It's not as powerful as that. But again, you know, being mindful that those sort of powerful ones can um, they can damage your paintwork. Certainly, if you go too close where this, you know, you can go as close as you want. So all I'm doing at the moment is I'm just getting just getting off the pre-wash. Um, again, I don't know if you could run a snow foam uh, a snow foam through it. To be honest, I've never tried that, and I wouldn't really do. Um, So yeah, really good, it's really light, you know, you can see I'm doing it one handed as well when I need to. Um, so yeah, just the debris there behind the, behind, the, behind the wheel there, you can see that, it just comes off. And again, I can put it as close as I want, being mindful that I'm not going to damage the, paint, uh, the, the paintwork. The lead, or the hose I should say, is long enough to get to the back of the car um, yeah so there it is I paid 120 quid for mine I think um, 
and like I said it is you can you know you can get one with all these bits of different jazzy um, sort of different jazzy attachments and such one of these buckets is normally one of these buckets is normally enough um, for me to do the uh, the car I've, I've tried to do my bigger car in the past and it's to be honest with you it takes uh, it takes a little bit it takes a little bit more in regards to water just drop that in there and then uh, go again it'll just take a second once you've uh, stopped using it yeah really useful honestly really useful I used to have a cheaper one that I bought of Amazon that plugged into the cigarette lighter what a waste of time that was honestly it could we stronger um, to be honest but yeah I really like this I, really, I do really like this remember if you're gonna wee always wee downhill or against the wind <laughs> against the wind I should say right so I'm gonna carry on with this I'm gonna stop the video then I'm gonna give it a, a wash and you can uh, I'll come back so you can see you know how it gets rid of the um, how it gets rid of the the actual um, foam. Right. Okay. So that's it. Washed. Um, let's have a look how powerful it is now for uh, rinsing off. Give it a second, feed through. More than enough power. This, oh, look at that. That's got that. That's the only problem, really, is keeping that in there, for goodness sake. Give it a sec. Come on. Making me look stupid here. Here we go. There's enough power in the battery to easy do one car. Easy, you probably get two cars to be honest. But yeah, plenty of power. Let's keep checking that mass in. If you want to know what products I've used, put a comment in and I'll uh, I'll let you know. Wheels are done as well. I've washed the wheels up. You can really get in here as close as you want. You don't want to do any damage because it's not powerful enough to do the damage. But it has got the power, as you can see. I'll set this down with me. If you could have only have a little helper with you who would uh, keep that plunger in. Give it a sec, here it comes again. As close as you want because you're not going to do any damage. Genius. Right, so I'm going to switch it off now. Um, you know, I'm not going to bore you to tears on, like I said, it, th this video is not about how to wash your car, you'll all have your own, your own little ways. Right, okay, so that's it, nice little service wash. Um, like I said, using the, um, using this thing that I've had for, like I said, well over 12 months and it's, uh, it's, it's really good to be honest, it's all I ever use. Um, one, one more thing that I just want to what I um, finish off with um, this stuff that I use. It might be of, it might be of interest 
um, for you and I'll put a, a picture of it um, after this you know sort of at the end um, it's called Atomic and all you do is after you've done a wet wash you just um, obviously I put it in a different dispenser um, and all you do is you just spray it round onto the inside of your disc like that I know it I know it'll cover you know the outside as well but that'll easy scrub off um, and what it actually does is um, it maintains or stops rust forming on your discs and it does actually work as well so i don't i don't know if some of you i i used to seem to suffer from it i don't know why um whether it's the water i'm using or what i don't know but um i always used to suffer with rusty discs you know after i'd after i'd washed but i'm not just talking about the face as well i'm talking about um the sort of the inner of the rotor so this is really good stuff just give it a squirt like that you don't wash it off or anything you just leave it um and that's it so picture coming up of what it is um so yeah thanks for watching like i said it's not a video about how to wash your car but i'm always open to any any tips or hints or anything um i use the classic two bucket um technique i suppose but anyway so it's not about that but um hope, hope you've found the review um useful i really like it max out of 10 i've got to give it a nine if not a 10 to be honest with you anyway thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next video